Hello class, welcome to lesson 7 through, which, all, which is all about scientific notation. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to express numbers in scientific notation, and you should be able to find products and quotients of numbers expressed in scientific notation. So the key concept is um, we're going to have, I, think, I believe, two. The first one is going from standard form to scientific notation. This is something that you maybe want to take a screenshot um, of. I think you guys, you know, had a pretty good understanding of this last year. But I think this third step is where most of you um, end up mixing up. So if you are moving the decimal, the decimal point um, it moved to the left, you write it with a positive exponent. If it moved right, you write it with a negative exponent. Okay, so left positive, right negative. Let's look at example one. We want to take each number and write it in scientific notation. So remember, for scientific notation, we want our numbers to be between one and um, it has to be less than ten. Okay? It has to be greater than 1, but less than 10. So it has to be um, a decimal somewhere in there. So in this instance, in order to be between 1 and 10, I have to have 6.87. You only ever want to have one number in front of the decimal point. So we have 6.87. And then if I had to move the decimal point from where it starts originally, which is over here on the right hand side, I have to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 spaces. So what I'm going to do is say times 10 to the 10th. And that is my answer in scientific notation. So remember, I went left, and left is positive. If I go right, it's negative exponent. Okay, so now I see my first number is 7, first non-zero number, so I'm going to do 7.25, and I have to figure out how many places I had to move it. So it started over here on the left, and I have to move it right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I say times 10 to the 5th, and since I went to the right in order to place my new decimal point, I put a negative 5. So my answer is 7.25 times 10 to the negative fifth power. Why don't you go ahead and try one on your own? Hopefully you decided the answer was 4.8 times 10 to the eighth. If not, it's okay to ask for help. Try one more. Hopefully for this one you said the answer is 4.52 times 10 to the negative fifth power. If you have any questions on those, be sure to ask for some help. Okay, so this is our next key concept, which is scientific notation to standard form. So this is going from our, like, 3.8 times 10 to the 5th. Instead of going, um, going to this as the final answer, we are going back to our written out number. Okay? So if you want to take a screenshot of this, go for it. We are going to um, be practicing this. But notice, again, this is kind of the tricky part. If n is greater than 0, so if our exponent is greater than 0, we move the decimal point that many places to the right. Okay, so if it's a positive number. Okay, so this is the opposite of what we just did. When we were going from standard form to scientific, it was the opposite way. If we moved left, that is when, you know, we had positive. Now, when we have a positive number, that means we move right, because we're undoing what we did in the last one. So I recommend taking a screenshot of that as well. So, let's try one. We have 3.201 times 10 to the sixth. So I'm gonna write 3201, and I started with my decimal point here, and I'm gonna move it six places to the right, because it's a positive six. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, 
five, six. And as you can see, I don't have any numbers above these, so I have to fill those in, write my commas in, and I have my final answer right there. 3,201,000. Okay, but what if I have 9.03? times 10 to the negative fifth power. This negative now means I'm going to go to the left. So I'm going to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So then I go back and I erase where my last decimal point was. That's my answer. I'm just going to put a zero in front of my decimal point. But that would be my final answer. Okay. So if you start with scientific notation, if you have a positive exponent, your number is going to get bigger. If you start with scientific notation and you have a negative exponent, your number is going to get smaller. Okay. Go ahead, try this one on your own. Hopefully you decided the answer was 0 0.0316. If not, ask for some help. Try this one. Hopefully for this one, you determined the answer was 7,610. If you have questions on either of those, please be sure to ask either myself or a friend for some help, or go back and watch part of the video again. Let's take a look at example three. Now, we want to evaluate each product and express the results in both, 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 very important, scientific notation and standard form. On a test, I will ask you to express both, okay? So don't just do one and think you're done. Okay, so now we have 6.5 times 10 to the 12th times 8.7 times 10 to the negative 15th. So what you do, you look, where are my regular numbers without powers? I'm going to multiply those together. And then you take your exponents and you multiply those together like we've been practicing in 7, 1, and um, 7, 2. So if I do 6.5 times 8.7, I have 56.55 times, and then 10 to the 12th times 10 to the negative 15th. I have the same base, and we're multiplying, so that means I'm going to add my exponents. So I have 10 to the negative third. However, I don't like the fact that this number is not between 1 and 10. What I'm going to do is I have to move that decimal point, so I have a 5.655 times 10 to the, I'm not going to keep negative 3 because I already moved it 1 to the left. When we move it 1 to the left, that's adding 1, so I'm going to move um, I'm going to add 1 to my negative 3, so I end up at 5.655 times 10 to the negative second. So this is my scientific notation answer, but I'm not done until I also do the standard form answer. So I have to move my decimal point two places to the left, so I'm going to 0 0.05655 is my standard form answer. Moved it over two places. Okay, now let's try it with letter B. We have 1.95 times 7.8, because they're my regular numbers without exponents. And I have 10 to the negative 8 times 10 to the negative second. So 1.95 times 7.8 gives me 15.21 times 10 to the negative negative 8 plus negative 2 is negative 10. Again, my number is too big. I need to move the decimal point. So if I move that decimal point, it becomes 1.521. And again, I ended up moving my decimal point to the left, so I'm going to add 1. I have negative 10 plus 1. That gives me a negative 9 for my exponent. And I have to write it out in standard form. So I know I have to move this decimal place one. And then I still have eight places that I have to move it, right? Because I have to move a total of nine. 
I'm going to do 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, and then 9. And here are the rest of my numbers. This is my standard form. Okay. I'm going to double check because that was a lot of zeros. I started here and I had to move 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So I know I did that correctly. Why don't you guys go ahead and give it a shot? Hopefully you determined the answer was 1.68 times 10 to the third, and the standard form was 1,680. Example four. Obviously we're going to divide next because we just practiced multiplying in example three, so why not divide now? It's going to be the same thing. You're going to take your two regular numbers without exponents, and you're going to divide them. So if I do 2.3958 divided by 1.98, I end up with 1.21 times, and then I have 10 to the third divided by 10 to the eighth. Remember, when you divide exponents, that's the same as subtracting. So that ends up being a negative 5. So I have 1.21 times 10 to the negative fifth. So I have my standard, uh, I have my scientific notation. Now I need my standard form. So my standard form, I'm going to count how many zeros I need in front of my one. If I move my decimal place one to get in front of my number one, I still have four places to go. So I'm going to put four zeros. And that should be my answer, but I can always double check. I started here, I moved one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I should have the correct answer there. So I'm going to circle that or box that and move on to the next problem. So now I have 1.305 times 10 to the third divided by 1.45 times 10 to the negative fourth. Again, take your whole numbers, divide them. In this instance, we end up with 0 0.9 times 10 to the, we have 3 minus a negative 4. This is an easy place to get tricked. We have 3 minus, because we always subtract, but then we have a negative exponent in our denominator. So this becomes addition, so it's 7 instead of a negative 1, like some of you might have wanted to write. So we have 0 0.9 times 10 to the 7th, except I don't like when my number out front here is less than 1. So I need to move my decimal point over to the right. So I have 9.0 times 10 to the... When you have to move your decimal point to the right, you subtract 1. So we do 7 minus 1. My power is to the sixth. And now I need to write it in standard form. So nine, and then I have to move it six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my answer is nine million. All right, go ahead and check out this next problem. Hopefully you decided the answer was 4 times 10 to the negative third, and the standard form was 0 0.004. Okay, this is our last problem. We are talking about a satellite radio, and we wanna, we're going to suppose the satellite radio company earned $125.4 in one year. We want to write this number in standard form. So 125.4. I know I'm going to put a comma there, 125,400,000 dollars. So there's my number in standard form. And then I want to go and I want to write this number in scientific notation. So I know I have to put a decimal place right after that one. So 1 1.254 times 10 to the, I'm going to move it 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1.254 times 10 to the 8th is my answer for letter B. 
Then letter C, we're talking about if the following year the company earned 2.5 times the amount earned the previous year, determine the amount earned. Write your answer in scientific notation and standard form. So if the following year the company earned 2.5 times the amount, I know I'm going to use 2.5, I'm going to multiply, and we're multiplying the amount earned in the previous year. So that amount, remember, was our 1.254 times 10 to the 8th. Or if you wanted to use your answer from letter A right now, that also works. So I'm going to use standard um, scientific notation and multiply. So 2.5 times my 1.254 gives me 3.135 times, I don't have any other base 10 with an exponent, so that number just stays the same. So I know my answer is 3.135 times 10 to the 8th. As I checked my front number and I noticed it's between 1 and 10, so we're fine. Now I just need to write it in standard form. So if I move that decimal place, 8, would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So my standard form would be 313,500,000. If you have any questions on that problem or anything from before in the lesson, please be sure to ask for some help. I'm more than happy to help you. Have a fantastic day.